Good morning. We're continuing our river cruise on the River Rhone with Riviera Travel. If you missed the introductory video, there's a link up top now and in the text below. Our boat, the William Shakespeare, cast off from Avignon under a threatening sky and motored the short distance downstream to the lovely town of Arles. I'm not sure if it's a town or a city. I've seen it described as both. Either way, it's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Many of the towns and cities in the south of France have impressive Roman ruins to see, and Arles is no exception. We're coming up to the Amphitheatre, the most prominent tourist attraction in the city. This was built in the 1st century BC, so it's been standing here for over 2,000 years. Amazing! In its prime, this could comfortably seat 20,000 spectators. Arles is one of the oldest cities in France and has been described as shabby chic and laid back but still fairly lively. Walking around the streets, that's a pretty good description. If I was thinking of moving to France, I'd definitely consider moving here. The Roman theatre was built around the time that Jesus was alive and had seating for about 8,000 people. Most of it's gone now much of which went to build the town wall in the Middle Ages. They had no respect for Roman antiquity then. The theatre now hosts festivals again during the summer. We're now in the Place du Forum, the historical city centre. This statue is of Frédéric Mistral, a Nobel Prize winning writer. The square is well known because of the famous painting from Vincent van Gogh called Terrasse du Café Le Soir, an oil painting which he painted in mid-September 1888. And this is what it looks like today. Not too different. This is the Place de la République in the city centre of Arles. In front of the town hall we can see an obelisk. This is a 4th century Roman obelisk which was originally erected in the Roman Circus. It was re-erected here in 1676. The fountain was added during the 19th century. Here too is the Church of Saint Trophime. This is considered to be a masterpiece of 12th century Romanesque architecture and is one of Provence's major Romanesque monuments. It was built between the 12th century and the 15th century. The sculptures over the church's portal are considered some of the finest examples of Romanesque sculpture. Vincent van Gogh came to Arles and stayed for over a year. In this time he produced more than 200 paintings. Unfortunately, many of the places that Vincent van Gogh visited and painted were destroyed during bombing raids in World War II. We can still see the Espace van Gogh, which was originally built in the 16th century as Arles main hospital, and it remained as a hospital well into the 20th century. Its major claim to fame is that it was here that van Gogh was committed after the infamous episode of cutting off his left earlobe in December 1888. The courtyard has been extensively planted out to resemble as closely as possible his famous painting Le Jardin de l'Hôtel de Dieu. The complex now houses the town library, as well as exhibition spaces, a series of souvenir shops and a cafe. Well that's a whistle stop tour of the historic centre of Arles. The next video in this series takes us to one of the best preserved Roman sites in the world. It's one of the wonders of the ancient world, the Pont du Gard aqueduct. So come back next time to see that. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.